time for the 2022 Fall Diecast Nationals, coming to you from Diecast International Stadium in Northern Maryland. That's right, the first stadium specifically designed for downhill diecast racing, and definitely not a horseshoe pit I found. For the first time, the tiny cars take to the outdoors in a tournament bracket of 64 strong competitors. And that's right, we do have lights. I'm not joking. The format? Four cars, or trucks, speed down the slope in a series of heat races, with the top two finishers across the line first moving on to the next round, and the bottom two eliminated. Let's get this underway with the trucks, as first up, we've got Sheldon Creed, Jordan Anderson, Raphael Lassard, and Jennifer Joe Cobb. And away they go, down the hill, oh, close finish, very close, our scoring's got Jordan Anderson and Jennifer Joe Cobb coming out in front here, so we can see on the replay, just get there. Ahead of the other two, really a four-wide finish as you see the trucks off in the grassy runoff. But I'll tell you what, I'm definitely feeling some precipitation down here trackside, and it looks like, yeah, there's a bit of water out here. We'll, we'll get some track drying procedures underway, but yeah, the sky's certainly darkening here at the stadium. Oh, good grief, coming down hard now, and I, I think we may lose the track. Gonna have to get the lights on. Hey, you thought I was kidding about the lights, didn't you? We're going to need them as track drying efforts stretch into the evening hours. Keep it right here and we'll keep you updated on when we might see the green flag. Well, the rainy season has moved in. So we've moved indoors to the Cardboard County Raceway to resume the Fall Diecast Nationals, now presented by Random Fantasy Racing. The rules are the same, but because we didn't make it to halfway, we're going to start the show over, as here you see all 16 trucks that will be competing in their bracket, once again brought to you by Random Fantasy Racing. Once again, we're going to start with Creed, Anderson, Lassard, and Cobb. Four trucks lined up, and away they go! I almost forgot about the, the Camping World sticker I got to put there, even though they're not the real sponsor anymore, but they were at the time I was making this. Um, and down they go, and it's, it's reversed, actually. It's Creed and Lassard. Lanes 1 and 3 the first to cross the line this time is... Looks like Creed clips the gate there at the end. Next up we've got Johnny Sauter, Austin Hill, Haley Deegan, and Spencer Boyd. And trouble at the end there, Deegan sideways. Looks like lane 3, Deegan sideways, Spencer Boyd gets spit out in the runoff. 1 and 3 it'll advance again. Next it's Ben Rhodes, Ross Chastain, Ty Majeski, and Natalie Decker. Away they go, and oh, trouble at the end! Big trouble, Natalie Decker upside down! Take a look at the replay. Gets out of shape. Oh! Backwards, upside down, through the gate. She will not advance. Next up, it's Clay Greenfield, Parker Kligerman, Matt Crafton, and Grant Enfinger. A clean race this time. Very tight at the end, but we're going to give it to Kligerman and Crafton in lanes two and three. There's lots of trucks on hand to see the show today. They're getting a good one. Hey, there's me. Next up, the winners, Sheldon Creed, Raphael Lassard, Johnny Sauter, and Haley Deegan take off. Oh, and trouble at the line, some banging. Johnny Sauter and Haley Deegan going at it, but I think it's going to cost them. It's Sheldon Creed and Raphael Lassard, yep, right there. They'll have the edge and they'll advance on to round three. Next up at round two, Rhodes, Ross Chastain, Kligerman, and Crafton. And away they go, down the hill. Clean race. Looks like we're going to have to give it lanes two and three. Chastain and Kligerman. Kligerman very good in this series normally. So next up, we'll move to the Xfinity cars. Another strong field of 16 cars. So first up, we've got Brett Moffitt, Michael Annette, Myatt Snyder, and Justin Allgaier. And away they go. Clean race. They're going to give it to Annette and Snyder. In the middle two lanes, next up a pair of eights. It's Dale Jr., Ryan Trucks, Noah Gregson, and A.J. Allmendinger. Let's tap the freaking thing. There they go. And Dinger slow. Outside lane, inside lane slow. It's going to go to the Truex and Gregson. Here's Cody Ware, Anthony Alfredo, Alex LeBay, and Tommy Joe Martins. Lanes one and four are going to advance there. Let's see instant replay. One and four just pick up speed there, it looks like. And Ware and Tommy Joe are going to move on next up. Kyle Busch, Bailey Curry, Josh Williams, and Stefan Parsons. Similarly clean race. It's going to be the opposite lanes this time. Two and three as Kyle Busch skips the tracks just a little bit, and that's going to give it to Curry and Williams. So we take a look at all the other Xfinity cars. 
looking on today didn't make the cut. So we're going to move on to round two here. We've got Michael Annette, Myatt Snyder, Ryan Truex, and Noah Gregson, and it's one and three. They seem to often be the fast lanes. They're going to move on. Next up, Ware, Martins, Curry, and Williams all the way in the outside. Overhead, long side. Looks like three and four are going to get it done. Yep. Curry and Williams will keep advancing. It's time for the Cup Series. Once again, sponsored by Random Fantasy Racing. Thank you, Steve, for the money. 16 good-looking cars here. Not next-gens. I don't have enough of them, and no one gave me any. Here we go. Keselowski, Harvick, Almirola, and Blaney. Harvick and Almirola are going to advance. As Harvick in the middle lane gets some speed, edges out Keselowski, they're going to move on. Next up, Clint Boyer, Kyle Busch, uh, Martin Truex Jr., and Joey Logano in one of my favorite cars. Down they go. Logano a little slow out of the box. It's going to cost him. It's going to be Boyer and Truex that are going to move on. Next up, Bubba Wallace, William Byron, Matt DiBenedetto, and Corey LaJoy. And LaJoy will be the slow one. It's lanes one and three moving on again. Let's see. Oh, yeah, just a little a little shaky getting out of the box. Lane three sideways to Benedetto. He still keeps it in lane. He's going to move on. Now for the finals in round one, it's Kurt Busch in the 41, Garrett Smithley in the 53, Alex Bowman in the 88, and Daniel Suarez in the 99. Away they go. One and three are going to do it again. Definitely the fast lanes in this round. So on to round two, it's Harvick, Almirola, Boyer, and Truex Jr. There they go. And uh, lane two. Picks up speed over lane three this time. One and two will advance. Now here's Bubba, Matty D, Kurt Busch, and Bowman waiting, waiting. Down they go. Oh, trouble. Alex Bowman way off course. Off into the weeds there. Bubba and Matty D are going to advance. And we are going to have to send out the ASMR safety crew and help clean up that one. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to the racing. It's time for the Arkham and Art Series to get their moment in the sun. It's another strong field out there today. 16 cars from the Arkham Menard series. With many familiar faces, including people who were nice to me on Twitter, like Raja Karuth and Brad Perez. First up, we've got Con Nicolopoulos, Ed Papa, Haley Deegan, and Karuth in the outside lane. Down the slope they go, and it looks like it's going to be the middle two, and Papa and Deegan moving on. Next up, it's Cody Roba, Drew Dollar, Christian Eckes, and Corey Heim in the JBL cars in the outside. Oh, little action! From the JBL crew late as it's the inside two lanes that are going to advance. Let's take a look at the replay. Eck is sideways across the line. Slows down Corey Heim. That allows the out. Oh, the pace car's been crashed. Anyway, uh, let's try Sam Mayer, Brandon Lynn, Brett Holmes, and Gracie Trotter. Oh, problems. Big wreck coming to the line. The entire field collected in that one. That is going to be our... Random Fantasy Racing, random wreck of the race. Everyone catching air. The first two lanes are going to get it. Is Mayer and Lynn still cross the line first? Next up, it's Travis Braden, Sean Core, Brad Perez, and Will Kimmel. The 69 on the far outside. I just hit it already. There you go. And a little more air. No wrecks this time. Is Braden and Core going to advance on to round two? Which will begin with Papa, Deegan, Roba, and Dollar. Down they go. Clean race. It's going to be the middle of Deegan and Robot advancing on. Next up, Mayor, Lynn, Braden, and Core. It's the outside. No, two and four. I'm sorry. Close race. It's going to be Lynn and Core moving on here. Take a look at our final four for this. It's going to be Haley, Deegan, Cody, Robot, Brandon, Lynn, and Sean Core. But now it's time for round three. Look at all of these cars. Man, they, they color-coordinated themselves. They matched. You got the blues into the blacks, the whites, the yellows, the greens. Cornucopia of colors down here at Cardboard County Speedway, or whatever this place is called. As we're down to two lanes now. Easy marker at the end. First one through the gate, which will cause the flag to drop. Is going to advance on into the semifinal rounds. It's first up for the trucks. It's Sheldon Creed against Raphael Lassard, and Creed is going to take this one. So you can see the flag dropping... On the inside lane. See the replay. Oh, Lassard getting out of shape. A little banging. Creed manages to keep it between the navigational beacons. He's going to move on. Next up, Parker Kligerman on the outside. And Ross Chastain on the inside. Ross Chastain. The wheel is perfect for Chastain. Is Kligerman upside down into the finish line. 
rough wreck there. Now we've got Arca. Wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. It's Deegan and Robot on the seven. Down they go and clean race, at least up until past the finish line. Go Robo, Deegan. What is going on here? De yeah, that's that's a little more like it. Sean Core, Brandon Lynn. Sean Core wins apparently. We're having some technical difficulties here. I'm gonna get the truck to figure this thing out. Let's go back up to the top again. So it's time for the Xfinity bracket. Here's Michael Annette and Ryan Truex. Blue cars. Oh, big problems for Ryan Truex. He goes upside down on the slope. Coast through the finish line. That's going to give it to Annette. Now we've got Curry and Williams. Look at this shot. Oh, my goodness. If we could just rack focus here. A camera doesn't have that possibility. But it'll look nice. Josh Williams is going to win this one. Next to the Cup Series, it's Kevin Harvick and Eric Almarola. Four in the ten. Oh, there's that shot again. I like it a lot. And Harvick will win. A drag race. Clean to the line. Next for the cup, it's Bubba Wallace and Matt DiBenedetto. A little different angle. Don't like it as much. Oh, problems there. Bubba is going to win this as Matty D goes off early. And he is upside down at the bottom of the hill. Ooh, a tracking shot. I like it. Here's our final eight cars and trucks. The semifinal rounds back here at Cardboard County. Let's go up to the line. It's the trucks first. Here's Sheldon Creed against Ross Chastain. Waiting, waiting. Down they go. Oh, look at this shot. Into the line. It's Creed who's going to win. We've got a camera right on the finish. Let's see the whole thing. Let's rewind that. Up to the top. And someone gets into the camera. I guess Creed clips the camera at the end. He wins. He'll move on. It's our Xfinity Finals. It's Michael Annette and Josh Williams. Oh, there's the shot again. Oh, big issues. Michael Annette. Off course, he crashes into the camera. Coming to the line, he goes off the tracks. Josh Williams wins. It's a net heavy contact after the line. It's our camera crew. Hope they're all right. Next, Haley Deegan and Sean Core for Arca and Deegan. Clips Core. Just at the line, the flag will fall her way. And finally, the cup. It's Kevin Harvick against Bubba Wallace. And oh, Harvick does not make it. Harvick into the finishing gates. Let's take a look at that again on our replay. As he starts to wobble. Oh, clips the inside of the barrier right at the line. Bubba is going to move on. Now, wait a minute. Could it be? Could it be springtime? Spring has sprung. So we are back at Diecast International Stadium outdoors to finish the show. Track drying is cleared. Winter is over. And we can get back to seeing what Haley Deegan, Sheldon Creed, Josh Williams, or Bubba Wallace can do to claim victory today. And, of course, grand prize of $2. The purse to the winner. First up, it's Williams and Wallace. Down to the line. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, he can't do that. Bubba Wallace got there first. Take a look on the replay. Wallace crosses lanes before he gets to the line. Triggers Josh Williams' flags. So we're going to have to give the win to Williams. As Bubba's disqualified. Next up, ooh, ooh, look at this shot. Once again out of focus, but pretty nice. It's Sheldon Creed against Haley Deegan. A cleaner race. It's going go to go to Deegan. Take a look at the replay. Yeah, she definitely won it. Oh, crap. Man, if she wins the whole thing, people are going to accuse me of ringing it so that Haley Deegan wins. Uh, let's just let's just pretend that Creed won, all right? Let everybody just be happy if we did that. Okay. Yeah, finals. Time for the finals. Josh Williams, the Xfinity car against Sheldon Creed in the truck. Waiting. Down they go for everything. It's Josh Williams. Josh Williams in the inside lane is going to do it. Williams, your champion of the 2022 fall, winter, 23 spring diecast whatever the show wound up being so we're going to take him to victory lane here josh williams is your winner no time for a post-race show we're on a hard break we'll see you next time